Good morning, Daniel. And today is the day after vlogging again. Woohoo! Yay! There's a purple water. Do you want purple or pink? Pink. Pink? Okay. Okay. There you go. Bamboo. You like a banana too. Okay. Let's get out of here. Actually, Daddy left a banana out for us yesterday. So it'd be nice and ready. Llama llama, red pajama. Bum, bum, bum. Lego. <laughs> One of the things that Daniel and I do a lot of is play with Legos, and I feel like he just hit a new milestone. So I was helping him build these really cool towers sorted by color. And he literally put all these people on. He's never put people on before. Hey, Beauty Boo. Do you know I'm vlogging? Mm. How, how do you feel about this situation? Happy vlogging day. Oh, it's okay. Hi there. If you don't know me, let me catch you up real quick. My name is Stephen Fluin, and I do a whole bunch of stuff. I am a developer relations lead at Google, which allows me to play with great technologies like Angular, as well as some of Google's coolest internal technologies. I've traveled the world, I live in the Bay Area, and I love to produce content, video, drones, blog posts, shots, all those sorts of things. I love to create content that brings the story of my life to people. I created this vlog about three years ago to really just try and share what was going on in my life. It was a really, really interesting time where I've watched so many vloggers and I've heard their stories and I felt like I wanted to be part of that. I wanted to share. And what's happened is after making vlogs every day for two years, I took a little break. As a family, spent more time together. We uh, took a little bit, step back from productivity and focused more on relaxation and health. And all those things have been fantastic. But over the last few months, I've actually started watching some of the vlogs back and I'm like, wow, I love the content that I was producing. I love the stories that I was telling and I wanna do more of that. The other thing that's happening in my life is that my wife Stephanie and I are expecting another baby in November. And with Daniel, I remember so little about what it was like to be a parent, to experience that, but I can go back and I can watch these videos and it's amazing and it's wonderful. And so I wanna make sure that I have that for the next child that comes. And so I'm gonna start daily vlogging again, starting September 1, so the day you're watching this should be the first vlog and we're gonna go from here. I don't know how long I'm gonna do it for, but probably the rest of 2020 and then 2021. It's gonna be hard though, because we live in a very different world than we did two, three years ago, right? We are now under a global pandemic. Stephanie and I stay indoors, we stay home most of the time, but my goal is to really share the things that I'm working on, share the passion that I'm on, and really use that to structure my journey through life, because I feel like I do better when I reflect on my past, my present, my future, and bring those together in producing content that is hopefully helpful and interesting for others out there. It is about 5 p.m. I've been working really, really hard all day. Pretty productive day. I got like 60 emails down towards inbox zero, so feeling very good about that. Let's go downstairs and see how the family's doing. Hello. Hello, happy family. Wow. 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 Can you say hi? Hi. I'm here with the dearest Stephanie Fluin. What are your hopes and dreams for the vlog? Probably just something that we can refer back to. I'm here. What would you say is the story of our life right now? Surviving and creating a beautiful human. Making sure he, you know, just filling his brain up with goodness. That one or the other one? No, the one that's out. That one. <laughs> Spinny one. <laughs> have we have we done a good job so far? We've definitely filled them with spins. So we're about to go to the mailbox, so you need your mask, but we've left some candles on. Let me just blow out these candles quick. <sighs> Apparently this mask works. One of this year's big goals for me was keeping this island clean for seven days. This is day two, we just gotta keep going for five more days and that yearly goal is done. It is around 9.18 p.m. at night. Stephanie and I just bathed and put the nugget down to sleep. Now it is time to decide if we have time and energy to play a board game. All right, here's game set number one. And here is game set number two. We're thinking that tonight might be an ascension night. Mm. 
So this is my favorite part of every game, where neither of us are good enough at mental math to actually add up our stupid simple numbers. The part numbers. where you win? That's your favorite part? No. <laughs> where we don't know, like we're not, at this time of night, not good at mental math, and so we end up whipping out our calculators to add like two plus four plus nine plus 12 plus three. We should be able to do it in our heads, but we're not. Oh, oh snap, she just okay, lost two points. There's one. 90. 89, I told you if I lost by one point. God. I'm calling this a tie. 